Hey everyone, here is the first video and I'm going to show you a little trick inside of brackets. Remember how when we are typing, let me go ahead and open up my file here, and we always have this problem where we go through and we start typing and it auto closes everything. Well, I told you that I was going to hunt down the way to fix that and this is the way that you do it. So I'm going to close this and not save it and just come here to my regular version of brackets. If I come up here under brackets and I choose preferences, what it does is it opens up two files. This is the default preferences and these are the preferences that we can set. So what we've got to do is we have to add a little bit of code to the brackets.json file in order for it to work. Now if you have no idea what a JSON file is or the coding language, that's okay because to be honest, I don't either. But I went through and found the code and I got it to work. So I have to go through and add a command over here into JSON and I'll have the code you can copy and I'll have a screenshot as well as the video. So I just put in a comma to separate so I can add a new command and then inside of quotes I use close tags and then inside of close tags I will open up a colon, open up a curly bracket and hit return. Now what I want to do is I want to set the command of when opening I want to set that to false so that when opening a tag it won't autocomplete it. But I'm going to come in here and say when closing, yeah, go ahead and finish it there. And then don't put a, a comma, just leave it the way that it is. So if I add this little bit of code, or actually this code, to my brackets.json file, it won't auto close the tags for me anymore. To do this, I have to save it, but then I also have to quit brackets, and then I have to start brackets up again. And here it is over in this window. And so now that I've got that done, I'm just going to close the left and close the right, expand this so that there's no split, come back into my movies, and then after H2, or H1, if I want to open up an H2, you'll see that it did not close. But if I type this is the subhead and I go to close then, it will close it out for me and set it correctly. So again, all you have to do is add that little bit of code to the brackets.json file and you're good to go.